Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Serial, and welcome to Blackout, a horror game where you explore the wrong house in the middle of the night. Quick note that there is an earlier release Game Jam version of this game, but this is a upgrade, polished, kind of expanded remake of that Game Jam game. Oh my god, you're dead! No, you're alive. Oh my god. Oh, hit my head. Where am I? Who am I? Looks like it has auto-read, by the way. It's a broom. Did I fly her on this? Take the broom. No, I hate ladders. Why are you climbing up them, I think? Hey, free skull. A skull. That's rather macabre, isn't it? Hey, what's that? This will come in handy. That skull really, uh, keyed us in on the solution. Vines are climbing the wall. Pretty. Now, do I have to select the item, or can I just click something? It's locked. Nope. We old school. It's Fitz. Go in. There's a dead person. Maybe? Is that a corpse? Check the wallet. For money. I need to get out of here. A plant. A bed. It looks rather inviting. An ashtray. Ugh, bed smokers. It's a painting of a rose. Hey, cat, meow. Meow. What is that thing? It's just Garfield. It's huge. More bodies. Yeah, smiley face on your chest. Huh. Another corpse. Would y'all get drained by vampires? Talk about menacing venison. That's the deer from Evil Dead. <laughs> Loot. There's something up there. It's a poster. Is that... a snake? Don't be rude. Snake belongs there. A diary. It's too dark. I wouldn't be able to read it, even if I want to. What a messy bed. It reminds me of your bed. Wait, I have amnesia! Imagine spending five nights with this. You mean Freddy? It's a makeup. It's cluttered. It's a makeup vanity. It's cluttered. You're looking good. Looking pretty witchy. I look terrible. No, you fine. What are these little figurines? Anime, I think. A few folders and binders, all neatly sorted. Various books and magazines. Fancy skylight. It makes me think of, like, Arnold's room. Hey, Arnold. That was a good room. Paintings. Some kind of plaque. A portrait. Something is written on the frame. But it's too dark to read. It's an unfinished portrait. A work in progress. An old handcrafted stool. Doesn't look very comfortable. I wonder if these are like developers or easter eggs. It's like the classic way to like... Handle... Um... Things like that. They always like put them like in portraits or art. I mean, we got that nice context sensitive adventure game and... I hope this holds. Got it. I don't know what it is, but it has a nice ring to it. Get it? Sure. Want no seat. Cat bell. Meow. Here you go. 
That solves that problem. A huge collection of photographs. That's a big spider. It's a lighter. I guess I'll take it. Yay, free lighter. It's a pack of smokes. Take those too. Sell those. A large tarantula. It's a grandfather clock. Look, a cute spider. Yeah, it does look kind of cute. Are you okay, buddy? Drink. Bath time. I think it's thirsty. A drawer. Handle's missing. A trash can is empty. Very empty. Still empty. No change. Nope, still empty. Wait, it's full. Of my souls? Of nothing. Damn. Hey, I think there's a sandwich in there. But someone ate it. Now, ten scientists agree. This trash can is truly empty. Maybe it's empty because of Marty needing fuel for the DeLorean. Insert trash can joke here. Why are you doing this? Because I can. Remember to recycle your trash. It's important. That trash can is empty. Okay, we've hit all the dialogue. Whoa! That has to be the biggest adder cop I've ever seen. Wait, what? Oh, it's not hungry. Nice desk. An impossible bottle. Grande edition. I flicked the switch. Nothing happened. Let's go to the left. Hmm. There's something crinkly. There's something in that jar. Stool down. Now what? Please don't break. Beef jerky. Score. Sure. I miss you, stool. I feel like I know how to make... Mm, thing went fast. Now it's not the time... Hmm, too bad. It's just an empty beer can. There's no tape to the fridge. You can read it? Too dark to read. Yeah, we need if we need light. I can't use the lighter for light, right? No, not the moment. Hey! How do you do? Friendly? Hey. Hello? Nicotine. What? You heard me. You... you want smokes? It's a creepy raven. That's one ugly mug. And I'm its new owner. Lucky me. It's dead people. I'm gonna go get you that nicotine. Get you your fix. It's empty. Dang. Never mind, I'm sorry. It's a duct tape. You can take the duct tape, it's just an empty beer can. The door is taped shut. Toilet paper? That's just disgusting. It's a vent. Okay, we got full loop. Wine. It's a corpse. I can't even remember my own phone number. It's a frame wedding photo. What's up behind it? A jack-o'-lantern is lit. You got a knife in here or something? But no, open it. Break whatever's in there. It's a sermon of vials. Full bindle tubes. It smells funny inside. It's just a full of tableware. What about this door? Brr. 
It's cold down there. Ghosts? I have a bad feeling about this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is that thing? Whatever it is, can't reach us, I think. It's a golf bag. Is there an arm there? That's no nine iron. Crowbar. Gordon Freeman! It will come in handy. You want some jerky? No thanks. I'm vegan. Oh, okay. No, no wanna die. They're vegan, it's fine. Perhaps I can scare it off. With a crowbar. Bounce is not the answer. Joke's on you. I need a flamethrower. Well, we have a crowbar. Let's, maybe we can use that somewhere else. Let's open this. Hmm. Gordon Freeman! It's a note. 2936. We got a phone number. Oh, yeah. They smoke in there. I shouldn't. I'm bad. Looks rather inviting. There's something under the uh, sheets. Smoke. Cigarettes. I'll give him that mask, man. Lighter. Thanks. Oh, it's here. Yeah, it's fake. Maybe this whole place is just a really rad party. You know, it's not actual murders. It's just like people chilling. They can set it up for Halloween, you know. Well, it is sharp. I can use it to cut the tape. Crowbar should have been able to remove that tape too, but you know, it's whatever. If crowbar can pry open a piece of wood, it can pry open a piece of tape. I'm pretty sure those aren't mints. Towels. Taps right out. It's a mirror. I know this scene. This is the part where I open the curtains and reveal the killer. Phew. Yuck. That's dirty. Whoa! A tub monster. Called it. No. If it grabs me, I'm a goner. Jerky? What just happened? Well, whatever it is, it's in the mug now. Perfect. My very own chalice of malice. Thanks. Take this. Good night. A key? Old key. I unlocked the clock face. Hold up. I set the clock to 2.50. Nothing happened. Hmm. I need like a number to work with that. You could probably brute force it, but it'd be tedious. I'll find like a safe. Which is right here. <laughs> 2936. Oops, hold up. Star. Pound. Eh, hey, Kermit the Ferg. What a creepy mask. Well, I guess I'm mine now. Hee hee hee. Am I gonna scare the thing in the basement? Hey, I'm Kermit the Frog. Yeah, you're scared now. Oh god, it's Kermit.
I scared her off. I think I'm done with this. I don't find objects. A cardboard box. Yeah, remember that trick? That's the snake I remember. There's something... It's some sort of note. What is that sound? There's a hole in the wall. Look at it. I think... I think it leads into another room. I can't see what's going on in there. But it's stuck. Remember to... Yeah, that's for the clock. The music's changed. Sounds all, like, scary now. Light is seeming for the cracks. Smoking okay, guy's still here. Eh, it's a living. Twenty-five? Is that that's all you want me to do? Twenty-five. It worked. Never box. Whoa! There's something inside. No way. I won't open it. This is getting pretty intense. Good thing I still have a stool with me. We summon thee, Lord of Darkness. Bring her up. Melon? She just scared us. Where you been? Did you bring the feathers? Feathers? Yes, feathers. You were supposed to get some from the bird's nest on the roof. Marilyn, are you okay? I don't know. I don't really remember any of that. I think I might have hit my head. You're such a klutz. Let's go upstairs and get that head bandaged. Yeah, we can decide to see things around. So it was just a normal party, right? There's a note on the fridge. Steph, we're at Lake. Left you a hundred for pizza and snacks. Don't call. Nice family. Lake House. Okay, that's what it is. Yeah, everyone was just... Just... Acting normal. It's just some empty boxes. Sorry, I scared you, Mim. I had to hide down here. Mask creeped me out, you know. I found some jam. I fucking love jam. Want some? I'm good, thanks. We're done to play. Hey, Marilyn. You feeling better yet? You know, it's too bad we couldn't finish the ritual. At least we had fun, right? Dining room. Whoa, this dude's tripping. Look at him go. He's rocking double smokes. Oh my god, you're right. Kinda digging me, no? But are you okay? Do you need help? Why are you dressed like an elf? It's Halloween. This was the party to real while we were preparing the ritual. If only I had a broom or something. Could clean things up a bit. Seems like the party derailed. She's sleeping in a pool of wine. The party must have been fun.
Are you- okay, you could have drowned. He's gonna be hung over. I'm glad he didn't drown. You- you legitimately could have died. Thanks for the drink. It tasted kind of funky, though. Uh... Hi! Sorry we startled without you. You were s supposed to bring the feathers by midnight. Cat. Meow. Whoa. You scared me, little kitty. So you were just a cute cat all along. Do you want to come with me? A bag of chips. Not exactly the most common snack. Let's see. Who owns Latin Enchanting Records anyway? Oh, wait. I love that group. Those little twerps started the ritual without me. Oh, well. Whatever. It's an old gramophone. Ugh. I told them. Pre-record chanting won't do. It's just empty beer cans. No. I'm tired of walking in the dark. Girl was spilling onto the floor. And this was, uh, a hell of a party. Okay, everything looks more normal. Double polar bear, Teddy. What a messy bed. Now we see ourselves properly. Stephanie's diary. Should I read it? Yes. There was a new girl in class today. Her name is Marilyn. All the popular kids swarm around Marilyn. No wonder she's smart and pretty. Marilyn said hello to me in the hallway. I hope we can become friends. So we're having a Halloween party at my place. It was Marilyn's idea. All the cool kids are going to be there. Craig is going to be there. Help! What if I make a fool of myself? Marilyn told me she knows just a way to get Craig to notice me. Some kind of ritual. It can only be performed during midnight on Halloween. Sure hope it works. Fingers crossed. Star Wars? The Adventures. Carl Lindgren deletes other programmers' code because his is superior. Okay, so yeah, these are developers. Animator. Does it for free? Doodler. Professional Smiler. Also a programmer on the side, sometimes. Music. What a bunch of self-important turrets. Jesus. It's an unfinished portrait. Hmm. Special thanks to... etc. Cetera, et cetera, Marketing PR. Chanting and shouting. Now oh, they have credits for the chanting and shouting. Hey, did we... No. Huh. Goodbye. The seance was a failure. This is the last time I rely on children to perform a ritual. Two weeks of acting. 
All for nothing. Oh well. There's always next year. We were real rich all along. Time to leave. What a twist! But I also somewhat saw it coming. I'm not, not fully surprised. There usually is like a kicker. So I guess that's it for Blackout. I, I now understand the title of the game because it's a, you know, it's a blackout. There's no power. You're kind of seeing everything twisted and looking more scary, like zombies and stuff, but when it's just a bunch of drunk teenagers, which might as well be zombies. Of course, apparently the ritual is real. I'm not sure if they were doing the ritual under good or bad intentions. Um, it could have been a bad ritual. It could have been legitimately helping the one friend with like uh, their love life or something, I guess, or crush. But she was a real witch, so whatever intentions there are, doesn't really matter. Mission failed. But that was actually, I mean, not initially, but at least ending-wise and kind of structurally, it's actually a pretty um, cute kind of uh, witcher game. Pretty old school. Um, down to dragging the item onto the thing. A lot of, you know, modern Vigil games kind of just like, you just click it and you automatically use the correct item. Stylistically, it does look like the Sierra kind of adventure game. So, it's, it's a pretty good, um, like, it's not like really scary. It's not like anything really stand out-ish. But it's got like a lot of little, like, kind of charm. You know, especially for like a free game. Um, it's, you know, a good adventure game. Anyway, so, thank you all for watching Play Blackout. I'll see you guys later, and take it easy.